Hey, what's up guys? Clue here, come back with a new video. Today's video playing some more City Skylines. Um, I think in today's episode, our focus is going to be around connecting this up to the rest of the um, region. Uh, just because currently they're using all their trucks, like sand storage, sand storage, all mining truck. They're all owned by these buildings here and they're driving um how do i do this again it's using this button if i do that they're driving from here all the way to into here or in some cases i think they're even driving uh no i thought there was some of them driving to um let's have a quick look uh some of them the right one uh where is he going okay so they're going to the ports they're using uh, industry trucks like as in not just normal trucks they're using trucks from our um what's it called our industry area meaning that these guys are complaining that there's not enough raw materials because they're sending out all their machine uh, all their trucks to send out their materials instead of storing it what i could do is have a little warehouse just something like this just over here and store uh, some metal in there i guess because then they have 20 trucks instead so they should be sending it here and then distributing it from there that's what my goal is for that but what i'm going to do anyways is add in a um, cargo station here so uh, how, how do I want to do this? Usually with a cargo station... First of all, I'm going to... Uh, I didn't mean to delete the road. I think I'm going to put the cargo station somewhere over, like, here. And then connect it up later. But... And then have, like, a bypass, because I'm sure there's going to be trains that don't want to join into this... Uh, stop... Station here. Um, so... How do I want this? Because I want it to come across. So I think we'll put in a industrial road, something like this. And then just curve it out like that. And then I think straight road it from there. And then I can just connect in a cargo station and we can then decide whether we need the um bypass or not um i do know this is going to need to um, rise a bit so about there something like that oh, a bit too far uh, that looks pretty bad. We've curved. We went too far. Um, we, oh, we're starting quite far back. That's why. We're starting ahead of it already. That's why we're having issues. And we'll start rising here. Uh, so then we then have a connection here, and then apparently it's 11 meters down, which makes no sense. And hopefully we can just nicely connect that in like that. Uh, that's not the greatest. I can move it mod this though, can't I? No. Uh, maybe if I make this smoother? No. I don't know. That looks really bad, though. So, we'll just let it play. See if it does stop our traffic from being as bad. That's a six-lane road. There we are. And, yeah, so they're going to have cargo trains coming through here no matter what, which hopefully won't cause too many issues. It's on the left-hand side of the road, so hopefully that also helps us. Because... Left-hand traffic's going to go in and then come out the top and then do a U-turn, hopefully. That was, that's the plan anyways. Uh, and then we'll just pick that up. 
speed the game up because I just want to see if this will work. Otherwise, we may have some issues. Uh, actually, are they selling all their ore? They're selling a lot of it. They're selling 56 tons. Okay. That's going to the glass factory. So there's none in there. I don't know what's going on there. We do have traffic lights. I don't know if we really need traffic lights at this point in time. There's not much traffic there. We'll just keep an eye on it. Or truck going in here. Hopefully that means it's going to bring out a train at some point. But you can see now they don't go as far. Um, oh, how do I do this? They're all coming from... Yeah, they're all coming from here going into there. Where's this one going? He's going... Wait. Oh, I did the road. Yeah, I did. He's returning to facility. So he's an ore mining truck. Owned by Westwood. So he's just a random one that's... Ah, oh, from another city. Okay, that makes sense. That's why Westwood didn't make sense to me. Uh, ore mining truck going into there. So yeah, we're now cutting our delivery times in half because they were driving out here, down across there. I'm also going to make these a higher speed limit road because they're only 60. That doesn't really make sense to me. I'm going to put that to 80. That to 80 as well. Hell, even that to 80. I just realized I've got to do both sides of the road. So now they can go faster, which should mean less traffic. Um, if this traffic does get bad, I can always put a roundabout in. But for now, we're just going to let it flow. You can see there's not much going around there. There's still no traffic around here. Not many people taking cruise ships, which is kind of a worry. But that's all right. We did put in our museum last episode, didn't we? We put it over here, yeah. So that's going all right. Um, I don't think we unlocked any new factories, did we? We may have, actually. Uh, industrial steel plant, which just requires metal. Okay, I can just chuck that in over here. That makes very little sense to have like that. I don't want it there, actually. What I could do, though, is have a little road off here. did connect up to here. Turn this into a roundabout like I was saying I would anyways. And then uh, highway 40 sounds good. And then we should be alright. I want to get rid of that. There we are. Um, and then we can just add in this industrial steel plant which I'm just going to do this and then fix up the power. Um, water's probably going to be a necessity. Like that. And we just need to check that this roundabout's set up correctly. Uh, don't want it like that. Don't want it like that. Don't want it like that. And then hopefully, priority, yeah. Everywhere else is right. Which is good to see. Uh, that doesn't look too bad either. Alright, so that's being sent steel. It's now turning into steel products. And hopefully then they just get transported from here over to here. Um, I might actually turn this into a one-way road. I don't know right now. Um, how, like... I don't think they're really complaining about people not getting there for work either. They're not complaining about not enough workers, I think. Um... No, we've pretty much got enough work because it's just actually enough resources. So, I think we need more ore coming in. No, I think we just need another plant because looking at this, a lot of them... Okay. Ah, so they're still bringing their trucks back in. But I might put in another, uh, what's it called? plant for uh, another storage for our ore small ore mine manufacturing grinding i think we need to put in the rotary kiln if i'm correct so that's both sand storages 
hopefully meaning that this is just going to bring in a bit more... Oh, I did not, not mean to hit my desk like that. Uh, it should bring in more trucks, first of all, so we can transport more. But also allow us to use our ore mines correctly. Um, yeah, it's already filling up, which is good to see. It's just got one truck in use. Um, how's that going? Not really that well. It has four trucks in use. I think it's just they actually don't have enough ore being transported in. Uh, that is going exporting the products. So how are you exporting the products, actually? That's an interesting point. You are still sending it like that. I do not like that it's doing that. It's really annoying because... Yeah, maybe it's faster to do it like that. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Yeah, I'm not really sure as to the plan going on there, but it seems to be working all right. Hopefully. Um, I'm just going to add in a little car, um, rubbish center over here. Oh, I was meant to click. There we are. Hopefully that's going to get rid of the garbage issue that's currently piling up here. Don't think we need traffic lights there or there. It's pretty flowy through here. Um, as you can see, like they're just making everything work right now. That could all change, um, especially with added traffic through this and such. Um... I think, yeah, we'd never put in a rotary kiln. We use the glass manufacturers, but not a rotary kiln. So that shall be something we can do. Seabed mining vessel we can't do because we don't actually have anywhere to use it. The rotary kiln is what I'm probably going to use. Fiberglass does come in a little bit. Hmm. How much can that store compared to that? 10,000 more. How much bigger is it? Alright, so we're just gonna close that. I may have just lost a bunch of ore. I don't know if that's how it works. But I'm gonna put this in. It stores more, has more trucks, so hopefully that works. Um we have fences if you wanna use fences, they're kinda weird. They're just bigger ore so there's more storage to come. It's just the teething problems of having a low level um ore industry. Um, maintenance building, medium ore mine. Wow, this is big. Just to make sure, you know, if they are complaining about ore, not enough of it, we just added a massive one in to produce more. And, hell, let's put, ooh, this rotary kiln's big. That could be a good idea. Just because then they're going to be taking metal, putting it straight into here. That's my thinking anyways. We'll see if that works. That should also help with our workers. We currently have enough workers. It's just, yeah, still products to be used. Um, traffic is picking up a little bit more. But, yeah, still nothing significant. I think we're just gonna leave this, come back to it in a little bit because everything looks all right. Um, is that being delivered? Yeah, it's delivering stuff. It's actually delivering ore to us, apparently. Ore mining truck. Wait, that's delivering steel because the warehouse only takes steel. It's industrial steel plant. So that's actually delivering all steel, not ore. Um, I think it's actually importing ore to use which is annoying, considering we should be making enough, but I guess right now we aren't. Just because of the amount of trucks that are being wasted. Um, I think the freight trucks do pick up ore from there. It's not these guys that have been the issue. Hopefully, anyways. But yeah, so let's go over to our other farm, because we don't need to focus on our university, I don't think, much anymore. Still prestigious. Still in its greens. There's no grant to add. Um, how their sports team is going. They did lose one game, lost two games, but they're still doing all right. 
I think they still win the whole thing, hopefully. Put 25. We're using maximum money. We've got maximum cheerleaders we can have, maximum coaching staff. Um, see if we can... Is there any policies that we can do to increase it? Decreased upkeep. No, not really that big of a deal. Increase the amount of visitors. It'd be a plus, but am I able to see actually which games they won? Does it say home games and away games that they're losing or winning? No, it doesn't. Ah, uh, that sucks. We do have the, um, yeah, this on. We don't have an issue with crime rates. So that's all good. Ah, I thought we didn't really have to touch on that too much. Looking at our farm that is level four. Wait, or is level three? This is no level four. We might put in a oil industry somewhere as well. I'm thinking like over here. Hopefully. Um, actually, what factories can we add? Because factories become more logistics, which is interesting. We aren't making plastics, so we'd have to import, which would be a little annoying. Um, again, not making plastics. We are making glass and crops. Hmm. Maybe not enough glass. Which one? Where should I have this, though? Should I have it over here? Where we can ship in our glass? Or should I have it over the other side where I can ship in our crops? I feel like logistically it makes sense to have your lemonade close to your crops because, you know, you're going to have your... um, You want fresher lemons when you're making lemonade. It doesn't really matter on the freshness of your glass. There, like that. Uh, I think we'll do this. Put in glass as our option. Oh, wow. What are they taking? They're delivering to Aero Designs. Wow. Aero Designs either just had a massive order or something. Yeah, this, this company here ordered like four trucks worth of livestock product. Interesting. I don't really understand that. Maybe I don't know if livestock product means that they're just uh, food. Or, like, if it's processed food already, or if it's just, um, like, actual cows or pigs or whatever. Um, what other factories do we have? So, we've added those. I don't think we've unlocked any of the big ones. No, we haven't. So, the furniture factory comes from forestry, household plastics from oil, toy factory from oil... Printing press from forest. I think oil is the next thing to get into because you can see that that's a big thing we need as plastics. Farming, what's that? That's a food factory, yeah. I think that needs a lot of things. Plastic, yeah, again. Uh, sneaker factory, which is plastic. So, yeah, I think, I think either we start the plastics today, which is probably pretty easy considering, like, we would always run a road up and build over here. Yeah, I think it'd be a little, little bit of a work, but this is a four lane, I believe. No, it was six lane. It, it was four lane, yeah. Something like that. And then... I don't know if I've mentioned this multiple times, but I am using a um, mod that allows me to add in ores. It just it just means that I'm able to build my um, resources wherever I want. It's nothing. It it's kind of cheating, but also like this map's pretty crap for resource. If I have a look, so there's a little bit of oil there, a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil. Forestry is easy. You can add that anyway. So you just add trees. We added that farming. Apparently there was ore over here in Edenville, or Eden Heights. But there wasn't a lot. There's a bit of ore over there. But yeah, there wasn't a lot of resources. Cool. Another toga parties. Uh, more money. 
we're still growing, which is good to see. Uh, new season, new year means just add another grant because we've got money just able to spit anywhere. Oh, wait, are we not allowed to put money into research anymore? It didn't have the three options. It only had two this time. Um, weird, but all right. Not enough re raw resources. You're full. You're full. Where are your trucks going? Like... They're just shipping them out like this. Yeah, they are. What if I... I don't think I have the land to be able to do this. Like a flat area. But I do need to add a um, cargo airport. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. We could place it over here, actually. I can't remember how to rotate. But yeah, we could place it here. Because it does take trains. Yeah. I think that's actually a good idea. Just here. It's decently flat. I do see that, actually. So... This will need um, highway connections and stuff like that. That's why there is highways around here. Because we had planned on adding this a while back, but we planned on adding industry over here a while ago, but it just ended up not happening. Slope too steep. See, like, we can do that. Can we do it on this side? No, we can't. What if I was to... Which side do I want it on? Yeah, no, I do want it on the left-hand side. Um. Just something like this. Well, I gotta be back. We're back. Um, I don't know what happened there. It sounded like there was a vehicle here, but there actually wasn't, so... That does happen quite a bit, I guess. Is it still not able to place it because it's too steep? It's fine there, but not there. Hmm. What's that look like? Yeah, okay, that does make sense. Uh, move it mod. Uh, control H to that. Does that work? No, not really. Alright, um... For now, I'm just going to place it there. Pause the game. Actually, I'm just going to have to remove it. What? I want this on the ground. Straight roads, as you realized. If I do that, it looks pretty straight, but I don't think it's straight enough. Or is it? Wait, wait, wait. We did it. I do wish it was a little bit straighter, but that's right. So now we have that connection. And now we just need to add a train line connection. Um, trains. Wait. It's, so trains work on the left hand side, don't they? Huh. I've got right hand connections. Uh, so that might actually cause some traffic issues. Okay, we'll just see how much traffic. Actually, what I can do. Do 
that. And then... Oh, I made that stay on the ground. See if I can make this actually look nice, because that doesn't look too great. 80 degrees. How's that look? That looks alright. So now, with this, we should then have a working... We'll just run this cable a little bit to here. We should have a working... Uh, cargo airport. So that cargo airport comes with the uh, industry's expansion. Just a little thing that should help tr um, reduce outgoing traffic, hopefully. That's the plan, anyways. Hopefully, our all trucks just go here instead, which looks like... Oh, wait. No, they're driving all the way down here just to do a U-turn, aren't they? Um... How do we do this then? I could... Because I'm sure that's going to be a thing that they're going to want to do. Go down. wanted thing in the world I didn't realize that anarchy on hopefully that airport looks all right yeah it's okay it's a little bumpy I wish you could like change individual pieces like this right there but I can't do much about it at this point I just placed it Hopefully, then I can get this to you know, just click in a bit. No traffic lights. We don't need those. Shouldn't be traffic lights there either. Yeah, so that should just be... That way. Pass through. Pass through. And pass through. This all should be that because now they can you turn around <laughs> that was interesting but yeah you can see a lot of trucks wanted to just turn around hopefully they just board the train and then the train takes the cargo over here that's what I'm hoping for but pretty aware that, that might not be the case Drop a bit of freight there. How much? It doesn't say how much they've used. Cargo hub. Sand storage. Ah, we'll just let that run out again. And then... I think actually I'm going to call the episode here. Because I think I've been going for a little bit now. And then we'll start on our ore industry. Um... Oh, we have started making some lemonade, which is good to see. We are low on glass, as kind of expected. Um, hopefully I can get rid of traffic lights. Maybe I can't. We'll have to see how traffic does go, because I can see that they are kind of driving straight down. I'm just going to move it more this and this. the height of that it doesn't look too bad 
Um, I can always do a little bit of smoothing level. So you want to set that. And then you just set them to be as level as you can to this area. And then you can smoothing tool it. Actually, control. Oh, you can't. Con you can't control Z. All right, that looks good enough. And then we smoothing tool. Yes, yeah, soften. Hopefully that does soften nicely. It looks like it is. Cool. And there we are. We have now made this look actually half decent. I know it doesn't look the greatest in some places, but it's all right. Um, I don't know how to do slope still. Um, in between the episodes, I will look for you. Um, oh, actually, we just got our ore industry leveled up. So next episode, we'll be looking at our ore industry. We'll be looking at starting our oil industry. A few more factories, because we did unlock the car factory. Um, improve our glass storage, uh, our glass production for our lemonade. Uh, probably have to look at some traffic, because I'm sure this will start to get a little bit busy um even just fill in a few places where because we can i believe this is set as a uh district where it's only farming so we could start placing farming uh just generic buildings using uh this uh using the zoning tool so we'll, we'll take a look at all that uh in the upcoming videos i think probably next episode we won't get all through all that but We'll just have to see. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you need more, welcome to this like button. Catch any more of my content, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.